Here we are again talking about coaching. And as always, I'm here with my colleagues, Yannick and Sivash. Hi, Hello. guys. Groovy. Okay. And today's question, guys, is coaching fees. Should we have them on our websites or is it maybe better not to for whatever reason? <laughs> well, I'll fire straight in, right? Because it's possibly the most frequently, definitely in the top three asked question by coaches who are building their websites. Um, and maybe not just during their website building. I have quite a few coaches as well asking themselves at any point in time, um, maybe I should add them to my website. I get a lot of inquiries or I don't get enough inquiries. And what might that be? Um, you know, maybe people assume that I'm too expensive or maybe, maybe I get a lot of people coming through that had a very different price in mind. They have a certain budget and, you know, they're kind of wasting my time if they don't even consider paying that much. And then, you know, so there's a lot of questions in there. And I think there's a really good arguments on either side. And for me, it seems like the age old debate that doesn't really have a, a clear outcome leaning one side or the other. I think there's certain decisions that we have to make and whatever we decide, we're going to lose some people and we're going to win some people. So that's kind of where I'm at um, at the moment. I'm happy to kind of lay out some of the arguments for and against. But I wonder if any of you lean either side uh, of that argument. Yeah, I, I love the question because, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times people just, a lot of times people just put it out there. And, and I think, you know, while there can be benefits for it, there are a lot of also a lot of uh, disadvantages, especially at, I think, at the beginning of a coaching business. And here is, and by the way, like, I'm going to try to talk as much as possible with this voice. Mm -hmm. I can hear it breaking now that you're saying it. <laughs> when you said it earlier, I'm like, hey, yeah. you sound fine. I had a 25K run on um, Saturday. I'm not sure what happened, but I lost my voice after that. Um, but yeah, here's the thing, like, I think, you know, coaching is such a, beautiful way to like when people see the price often what what starts happening people start thinking like can i afford this do i you know can we budget it in right and those questions are good questions but i think you know for the coach i think it's, it's much better you know to just really connect with people first build that relationship and then give people an experience of what's possible <clears throat> and i know this is not the only way to, to build a coaching business right but, you know, this is, I think, a really great way to, this is one of the ways, and it's a great way to do it, by giving people an experience. Right. Because Have the experience we, first, and then hear the price in relation to that experience. Yeah, exactly. And, and we can see this, to be honest, with anything, right? Like, if you think about the degree, right, some people will cannot imagine, like, why, why would someone pay £27,000 for a degree? But a person that pays that, they're connected to that future. They're connected to, like, Hey, you know what, if I do this degree, it's going to open this door for me, right? They see a possibility. They see, like, what change it can create for their life. And I think, you know, that's that's really important is that we can connect with someone. Like, why do you really want this coaching? What, what do you want to get out of it? What does that even mean for you, right? Mm -hmm. How long have you been, you know, if someone, for example, has a goal, right? It's like, well, what have you tried, right? What's, what's the impact of not having that? Just really getting clear on like, you know, why it's important, not having it, what the impact of that is, right? And we can really connect emotionally to why the coaching is important. And personally, I don't see it so much as a sales technique. Because sometimes, you know, in some sales trainings, they'll teach you like, well, do this. And, you know, they're emotionally connected. They'll make that decision, right? But I think doing it from a place of like genuine service. Like if you, you want the best for that person, you need to connect them emotionally to why that's important. Right. And then people move away from this whole thing, like from this whole aff affordability. Concept. Yeah. So let, let, let me uh, play devil's advocate for a moment, um, because somebody who just don't like I, I know you're charging a lot for your one to one work, particularly. Uh, so if 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 I'd imagine someone connects emotionally strongly to what you're offering and there's just no way that they can afford that. It's just even if they saved for 20 years, uh, they're, they're not going to have that on the side. Nobody's going to give them a loan. 
then I could see why someone would say, oh, that's borderline unethical, right? Um, to get somebody so excited and emotionally connected to something that is just completely outside of their range. Wouldn't it be better to have it on your website so you know that at least they get a certain sense for it? Yeah, good, good point. And, and that's why I think like when, when a coaching business evolves, right, I think it's actually in service to both parties when the prices are on the website. Mm -hmm. I think that's I mentioned that to you that my intention is in the new year, right, is to have those prizes on the website. Mm -hmm. And, and it, I think it will serve a purpose, right? And one of the one of the purposes it can serve to have the prizes on the website, it qualifies people, mm -hmm. right? And also can, you know, it can, for the client, it's useful, like, okay, well, that's way out of my range. I'm not going to even bother, right? And for the coaches, it can be useful because when people know that, they know what they're getting into, right? You know that when you, sign up you know if you want to get into oxford university there's a fee to pay you know that if you want to get into harvard there's a different fee right but people are aware of like okay you know what like i want to get in that the best university in the world okay well this is the price to pay but again like i think you know while it's, there's no perfect formula i think it's so important to understand like you know why am i doing this what purpose is it serving mm -hmm. right? because there are also other ways to qualify like we have clients you know, I have coaches that I work with that don't have the price on the website, but they have a simple calendar link that says, hey, my coaching starts from 500 a month. Is that something mm -hmm. that you can afford? And, and some of these coaches, they added that there because they're getting a lot of inquiry in their work and they just didn't want to waste time anymore, yeah. right? Now they're getting a lot more qualified people on the call that says, yeah, I can afford 500. And, you know, once they have that call, there's a connection, there's chemistry, then they, they can both decide to go ahead yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I made that change as well. In the beginning, I didn't have the prices on there, mainly because all my prices were tailored at the time. Yeah. Right. So I, I literally, if I even if I wanted to put the prices on the website, I couldn't because it depended on the context and the kind of flexibility people wanted on, you know, also kind of what they get out of the coaching. And then there's different tiers. And, you know, so um, for me, it just didn't make any sense. I, I couldn't. Um, but the, the first change I've made uh, to the website when I got quite a lot of inquiries was uh, if you're not willing to at least spend a couple of hundred pounds, uh, invest a couple of hundred pounds a month, um, then it's probably not for you, you know. Um, and that gives you a certain idea. Um, and that rules out a certain, ki certain kind of person that uh, isn't ready to invest in themselves, that isn't aren't willing to invest in themselves. That's okay, right? Um, but it, it certainly saves a lot of time talking to people who are not actually interested in investing in themselves. And money is a good uh, filter for that. Um, before I say more, um, Nikki, I wonder where you're at in this. Um, you've, been, you've been a coach for a little while now, but yeah. uh, slightly less. Uh, I wonder where you're at with that. Do you have your prices on your website? It's been really interesting listening to you guys. And I was just kind of thinking about my own journey with it. I remember at the beginning when I first started coaching, you know, obviously the, the topic of pricing was really relevant to me and I thought about it a long time. And at the start, I actually decided that I would put my prices on my website. Thinking back about why I made that decision, I think as a coach just starting out, it gave me a certain level of confidence um, that clients who would get in contact with me kind of knew what to expect in terms of the price point and, you know, what was offered within the coaching package. But I think especially through the time we've spent together and learning from you guys and reading books such as The Prosperous Coach um, and where kind of my pricing has moved to now, I've taken my prices off my website because I think some of my experience was that you know, there's still often a tendency to compare coaching to something like therapy. And I found that there's a real need to kind of maybe inform my client or like I get people to me who maybe haven't tried coaching before, so don't really know what it is they're buying into. And I think the price point could have been something that was off-putting to people, but that by talking to people and then kind of when you offer them kind of the price for a package them, there's a lot more understanding of what it is they're actually investing in, in, in terms of mm. themselves. And I think that that comparison of a price per hour that maybe sometimes is associated with, you know, maybe a lot of these people have experienced therapy and they're like, well, why is coaching potentially much more expensive? Mm -hmm. 
it helps mm. to kind of yeah divorce those connections and people start yeah. understanding the value of coaching in a different way yeah and, and that's the dilemma right if you if you put the prices on your website then some look at that and they say that's so cheap i know what coaching costs this can't possibly be good you know and that person's idea of coaching might be in an executive context and if it's less than you know three four five a thousand pounds a session then you know that like that can't be a quality coach some people think like that other people think oh my god what hundreds of pounds per session or even 80 pounds a session sounds like a lot to people um depending on where they are in the world depending on their uh, where they are in their career depending on you know where they are in life um so Either way, you're going to rule some people out and others are not going to like reach out or others, you know, so you can't really do something well unless you know exactly who your clients are and who you want to attract. So if you're tight on your niche, if you know exactly and quite targeted who you're talking to and you have a sense of their budget and their idea of coaching maybe and their willingness to invest in themselves, I think it makes a lot of sense to put your prices on the website. But I've had plenty of people say, look, if you don't have prices on your website, I'll immediately go to a different website because first of all, I don't like the not transparency. And also I, I'm just going to assume that it's unaffordable and that's why you have the prices not on your website. So yeah, I get that. It makes, that makes sense to me. But then there's plenty of arguments on the other side. Yeah, and, I, and I think that's where it's being playful is important. Like it's okay to lose some people. I think it's just connecting to like... <clears throat> Is your job really to try to get everyone as a client, right? And I think it's like just slowing down to that. Like, I, I've I've bought plenty of packages. Just wrote a few down. Like, I bought a ten thousand dollar program to a website, a fifteen thousand, right? And and there's another coach that I'm, you know, um, intending to hire end of the year, maybe next year, and the price are on the website, hmm. right? And there's plenty of people that I've hired and I didn't know their prices and they would tell me on the, on the sales call. Right. And I think it's just really getting clear on like, what is my intention? Like also maybe also really looking at like, what am I afraid of? Right. Sometimes we're afraid that, Oh, if I put the price there and, I, and I've thought about that, right. Like, Oh, if I put my price there, I'm going to lose some people that actually could work with me. Right. And I checked in like, where does that come from? Mm -hmm. I thought also the other thought, like if I put my price on my website, am I putting it from a place of ego? Like, oh, look at me, like I'm charging this much. Right? And I think it's just slowing down to like, what is what's underneath that? How how do I want to play the game? Mm -hmm. right? And again, we can experiment. There's so different different ways for work for different people, and and then I think what one of the reasons I say like when you have a really established business. When people already experience your work like as an example rich litvin like has hundreds of hours of coaching on youtube right now he's not a coach for everyone but what what, what happens is i remember like signing up for a fifteen thousand dollar program with him right and most people that sign up for the program never had a conversation with him they just signed up because they watch 20 hours on youtube yeah they have a sense for what the coaching is like already yeah, without yeah. having been in the consultation exactly so that, that's another way right like in, they have work out there they have a body of work out there mm -hmm. so it's, it's again like for a coach that's just qualified it's probably useful to just keep it simple mm -hmm. right and and then look at it like based on like what's happening with clients look at like what, what could be useful here by the way like i haven't i don't have my prices right now on the website but in my very first conversation i already give an indication of like the range because Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense to spend, you know, two, three conversations because I like to coach people for two, three sessions before we actually do that. But I have people that say, hey, after the first session, like this was really great. I want to hire you. And I let them know, I'm like, well, this is how it looks like. Let's take a bit more time. Mm -hmm. Right? I'll tell them, like, hey, look, there's, there's no obligation to continue, but I want to kind of let you know what the price range is. And the reason I do that is because I noticed that if I don't do that, like some of these people fall off the chair, right? And by the way, this is not even about how high my prices are right now. And that used to even happen three years ago when the prices were like five, 10 times less. Someone was here like, oh my God, you charge 5,000. And so one of the things that's always been useful for me, and again, it's not something you have to do, but it's been useful for me is 
just mentioning like, hey, here's what I'm willing to do. I'm, go I'm willing to spend an hour and a half with you. I'll coach you as if you paid me 5,000, right? That's what my clients pay me. Is that something you're open to, right? And I just started experimenting with that. I heard it once from Steve Chandler and it worked really well. And I do that right now as well. Like, hey, I'm willing to coach you as if you've paid me already. And this is how much my clients normally pay me. And I'll just give you a range. And some people are like, okay, great. And some people are like, whoa, I don't want to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Either way is fine. Right? But we, we can get playful because I think you know, people do like transparency. People like, do like knowing kind of where they are. Yeah. Right? And I guess it really helps if you already have established practice and you don't necessarily need the extra work. You know, if you have a full practice, you can be bold and put high prices on your website. And then only those who would consider investing that they come through. When we're at the beginning of coaching practice, it's much harder to do that because you feel like, oh, if I put that on there, you need to live with the uncertainty of not knowing what the reaction is. When you tell your prices in person, you see exactly what the reaction is or you hear it, you know, and you can respond to it. Um, you can be like, that was a pretty long pause, <laughs> you know, or the interesting facial expression, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or you can say, oh, was that, was that your eyelid twitching or, you know, was that in response to the price? Uh, whatever it is, you don't even have to be able to name it. Something just happened in your face as I named the price. I'm curious about that. Um, you're there and you can open the door into what's happening here. Right? Money is not the, my top priority of why I do coaching or supervision. Um, last time I raised my prices, I, I only raised it for when I work with coaches because I, I have other ways of working with me that are not one-to-one -one rates. So it was really important for me that when I named the price and really something is just not, it's just completely out of the range. Right? So often um, people find the way to invest it, even though they come in with a certain budget you know, they would really want that and they find a way to make it happen. But sometimes it's just impossible. So it was important to me personally that there's other ways that they can work with me. So with coaching clients, with individuals, people who are not coaches, I don't have that in place. It's one-to-one -one or it's not, right? One-to-one -one or don't work with me. When, when it's coaches, there's a lot of other ways to, you know, work together in some way, in a group format or in whatever way. So that made it easy for me. Um, and it made it much easier for me to put the price up. But if I were to put a one-to-one -one rate up and somebody would see that on the website and then not reach out on that basis, they would not get the support, even though there's much other support available. And I don't, I don't want to write like a five, six tier pricing section on my website uh, when that's kind of fluid anyway. So that for me, that just didn't work. Any other pros and cons we could mention? <clears throat> what else do I hear? I think the one thing that kind of came to me was the more you charge, the more, like that's how I used to think, right? The more you charge, the more helpful it is not to have your prices on the website. Because you, it's um, the more you charge, the more important it is to know what this would be for. Right. So you need to kind of have that experience of coaching or that idea of where the coaching would go, a sense or an experience of what the results would feel like or what how your life would be different. And it, 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 per hour is just a really difficult. We, we have that in another episode, so we don't need to get into that. Yeah. Um, well, I think, I think but then I, oh, hold on. But, but then I also thought the lower your price is, the less helpful it's going to be for you, depending on who's reading it. So it used to be clear for me, and then it wasn't anymore. So <laughs> I guess that's why my prices are not my website still. Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting what you said there. But one, one of the things is, by the way, I've worked with <clears throat> the same coaches that are registered on directories, and they put their prices there, and they get a lot of inquiry and actually sign up clients through that. Right. So mm -hmm. when you are qualified and you can show a bit of you know, you can explain that the kind of work you do and you're actually at, maybe maybe that's what you meant there. It's like, maybe you are on the lower end where it's like 50 pounds an hour, 75 an hour. You could get actually a lot of time because people can see that you're, uh -huh. you're yeah. doing good work and it's like, wow, this, this guy or girl is like really affordable. Yeah. 
Um, and I get, I guess the directories really help there because there's a level of trust and there's testimonials that have been vetted and not just somebody's website. So I, I think that that's really helpful. Yeah. And on the other side, and again, I don't think there's a right or wrong, right? But um, I, I know a lot of coaches that are doing quite well in their business. I guess high six figures, seven figures in their business, they have their price on the website. And I, and I know, met people that are like, yeah, I want to hire that person. Want to hire that person? I've looked at the website. It's 50k, it's 80k, whatever it is. And like, I'm working towards that. Hmm. And I think it's an interesting concept because a lot of business programs, they they're like, no, there's no prizes on the website. But what I see is with a lot of really successful one-on-one coaches, like what I've seen is like 80, 90 percent of them, they put their prizes on the website. And again, I think I think part of that thought process is. And a lot of them, they do have different ways to work with them. Like it's not just one way. Yeah. It, but I think it's just because they've they've built. They already a, known. Yeah, they build a body of work. They known, but I think also because they have ways to give people an experience, right? And, and I'll give you a quick example of that. I met a guy from America, and he did an event here in London. It was like a um, thousand per person. There's thirty people in the room, so it's quite a quite affordable to get an experience of him. It's like a three-day event. And you know, it's like, wow, it's like 50K or like 80K, right? And I can hear the conversation like, yeah, you know what? That's it. I'm going to like find a way to work with this guy. But he gave people an experience right, with him for like mm -hmm. like a thousand pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And, and you mm -hmm. know, as coaches, there are different, lots of different ways where we can give people an experience even for free or at a lower price. And then, you know, the, re the other part could be transparent, right? And mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be, by the way, like, here's my website, buy this. Like, I remember with some of these coaches, like, they'll still have a message, like, look, if you're interested, message me, you know, we can have a conversation. And some of them actually do give people like an hour or two hours for free, right? But they just usually have a disclaimer, like, please, only serious inquiries mm -hmm. right? so it's not a one-way thing that you know like if you put your prices there like you know only that like people will just buy and click like you can actually still have a way for people to say well i'm interested let's have a conversation yeah and that's why you know trainings lunch and learns you know public speaking uh, writing books blogs articles uh, just being active on social media and showcase how your mind works how you think uh, podcasts, right? Uh, I have a lot of people coming into consultations. They already spend hours with me and you too, <laughs> you know? So uh, there's a sense that they already know me and they already have a sense for what it's like to sit down with me and have a conversation. So being out there helps, right? It's not crucial. It's not necessary. You can also start at the consultation to give someone an experience of what it's like to be with you. Um, but like uh, the, these things, that's why they help. That's why they work. Yeah. Nikki, any anything you'd add to that? No, I can't oh, I think of anything to add, but I was just thinking, yeah, it's really helped me to think about it uh, more and more depth and see both sides of the coin kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm going to let that sit and kind of digest and then maybe reconsider my choice currently, actually, of not mm -hmm. having prices on my website. Mm. Yeah, I like cool. that. Thank you. Yeah. One, one final thing I want to share is just that you know, regardless of what you do, it's really about how good you are, you know? And, and of course, even if you're really good, some people will not connect with you. Some people won't hire you. I think it's, it, you know, sales is important. Marketing is important. I think at the, the core of everything we do, it comes back to like, how good are you really as a coach? I wish it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> But that's maybe for another conversation. <laughs> well, we, we can actually have a, actually another one, yeah. Yeah, I think we should. I really want that to be true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, well, thank you, guys. Um, as always, uh, leave, leave us your thoughts, right? This is supposed to start conversations. Um, that's what we're talking. Um, so let us let us know what you think. Um, maybe put a poll on Facebook or something. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to hear. If we, I'm sure we missed out some arguments for and against. Uh, so maybe we can get a conversation going. Cheers.
Thank you for being with us today. I appreciate your commitment to learning and growing as a coach. Just a few things before you go. First of all, we're doing this for you. So if there's anything you'd like us to talk about, do send us a question. Secondly, we're not doing this for profit. So we rely on your support to help us reach as many coaches as we can. So if you can send this episode to a friend or tell a fellow coach uh, about what we're doing here, maybe you can subscribe or leave us a review or even support us on Patreon. Um, that would be amazing. And lastly, you can find us across all major platforms. So uh, whether you like to watch or you like to listen or you like to download episodes and listen to it uh, in your car while you're driving through somewhere with no internet, uh, you can do so too. Um, and that's it from us. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.